um, today's short, what I shared, if you watched today's short, um, about how you are chosen. We're going to talk a bit more about that. And I've got some scripture to read. Um, because what scripture says about it is pretty amazing. Because, you know, we didn't choose God. God chose us. That's how much he loved us. That he chose us. And in Ephesians 1, 4 it says, How blessed is God and what a blessing he is. He's the father of our master, Jesus Christ. And takes us to the high places of blessing in him. Long before he laid down earth's foundation. He had us in mind. And settled on us as the focus of his love. To be made whole and holy by his love. Long, long ago he decided to adopt us into his family through Jesus Christ. What pleasure he took. In planning this he wanted us to enter into the celebration of his lavish gift 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 giving by the hand of his beloved son what an amazing scripture like it just I don't know but wow wow to think that not only did God choose us but he chose us long before he laid down earth's foundations. We were on his mind. We were on his mind. We've always been on his mind. He's. He chose us. Long before anyone else chose us. Long before our parents chose us. Our friends our siblings, long before anyone. He chose us because that's how much he loved us. He, man, is he amazing. He's so awesome. Another couple of scriptures. Um, 1 Peter 2 says, But you are the ones chosen by God chosen for the high calling of priestly work chosen to be a holy people God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you from nothing to something from rejected to accepted um that, that reminds me of um, I don't know if you've seen the movie Hunt for the Wilder People Right through the song they sing to Ricky Baker <laughs> on his birthday. Um, um, I think there's a line that says, "Um, once rejected, now accepted," and that's exactly what that that just said. And that's, you know, that's exactly what God did for us. He accepted us into His family. He adopted us as His sons and daughters. Man. Let's get excited about that. Like, because because of that. And if you're watching this and you haven't experienced that and you don't know that for yourself, you can. You can come to Jesus and give him your life. Um, If you would like to know more about that, put a comment down below. Because, man, I just want to share with anybody and everybody how amazing God is and, and what he's done in my life and, you know, bringing me from rejected to accepted. And just, wow, just doing so much in my life as, um, as I share my journey more and as we get into this more, I, I will share some stuff about, you know, around my life and how God has just, what he's done and and how man if he hadn't had his hand on my life from when I was a little little baby potentially because of the stuff that's happened in my life I wouldn't be here right now it is only because of him only because he chose me only because he loved me and accepted me and called me by name am I here to tell you about this amazing amazing gift 
of God's love and, and a relationship with God that we can have. So just, oh, he is so yummy. My, <laughs> my friend, yesterday, oh, we were, it was in reference to, you know, the Holy Spirit. But, you know, she's like, it's not scripture, but so, he's so yummy. And he is. He is so, so yummy and just so incredibly amazing and wonderful and awesome and just so gracious and loving and merciful that, you know, we don't deserve any of that, but he doesn't see all the things we've done wrong. He sees us as righteous in him. Because, and we're, because we're made holy. And that's, you know, something another friend was sharing with me yesterday that when we accept Jesus as our saviour and are adopted into his family, we become holy. I think a lot of us as Christians are quite holiness to, you know, we've got to get to this level, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. But we are holy just simply because... We've accepted Jesus and been adopted into his family and are his children. And, um, man, what a revelation to go, wow, I am holy just because I am a child of God. I am holy. <sighs> um, in John 15 it says, you didn't choose me. Remember, I chose you and put you in the world to bear fruit. Fruit that won't spoil as fruit bears. Fruit bearers. Whatever you ask the Father in relation to me, he gives you. And, you know, in here where it talks about um, fruit and bearing fruit, that's all part and basis of... Um, inner beauty and you know as I was talking about the how inner beauty comes from when we you know from when we live out the carrot the traits of God and as he picks out those ones that aren't of him and he replaces with him with places them with ones that are that is the fruit of our lives as we abide in him and he abides in us and we stay close and we stay grafted in to the tree who is Jesus he he prunes that fruit that's not of him and that's not bearing good fruit and he prunes it and, and as he prunes it good fruit grows and comes out of that pruning and that that discipline and that testing and trials and all that stuff because our mission in life as Christians and followers of Jesus is to bear fruit so that others may see the fruit in our lives the fruit that is of Jesus and of God, and not of, you know, not rotten fruit um, from ourselves, but is the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. Yes, I got all nine of them. Um, and, you know, grace, extending grace and mercy to others, and, and being just, and... Um, loving to the extent of unconditionally yeah and acceptance and and you know all those characters that God is that is what we're aiming to be like that and uh, yeah so just um so cool just to know you know not only are we chosen by God but we are loved and accepted and made holy 
and righteous in him because we are his children and because he loves us no other reason it's not what we do because he's not looking for works he's looking for a heart a heart attitude and looking for a heart that is after him and faith as we put our faith in him we become more like him because as we live out and walk out our faith each day um, you know the, that fruit that isn't bearing good fruit that's rotten gets pruned away and he brings new fruit he brings new life into the dry bones so be encouraged yet again this video far too long um be encouraged thanks for watching and remember you are chosen by the king of the universe oh my wow that blows my mind constantly I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh um and it's good oh my gosh because wow how amazing to be privileged to be in relationship with Jesus and God the Father and the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. <laughs> I went to Mr. Bean and say Holy Ghost, I think. I think he said, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, what an absolute privilege and honour to be called a child of God. It just... Oh. And I just am so incredibly thankful that God chose me and saved me and kept me from a very destructive path that I could have walked down. Um, yeah. And potentially, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that potentially if God hadn't chosen me and put his hand on my life and kept it there the whole my whole life I may not be here today um, it's by the grace of God that I am absolute grace of God that I am here and I am just incredibly incredibly grateful for the grace of God so yeah really um let's wrap this up again um you are chosen you are chosen you're not a mistake like I've you know like I've said before you are not a mistake you're not unwanted you because God doesn't do wrong things he doesn't make mistakes you are chosen you are loved and you are valued. And you're a child of the Most High God. You're a daughter or a son of the King. Amen. Yeah. So just reflect and, and ponder on that, what that means in your life. And just rest in that. Rest in the knowledge that you are held in the arms of a loving God and he never lets you go he never gets sick of you because not only does he love you he likes you <laughs> um, and I know you know which amazes me because I, I find it hard to like some people um, and I mean you know sometimes even me I find it hard to like me but God likes me and he loves me and he 
likes and loves you and he chose you to be his precious, precious son or daughter. You are that apple of his eye. So, we are going to wrap this up now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have a great night and a fantastic day tomorrow. And um, come back again for another daily encouragement. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. I'd love to get to know who I'm talking to. So wrap this up right love you guys peace out